Hello everyone, uh, my name is Louis Dumont and this is a quick overview of how I put together a rough and ready HDRI environment for general 3D stuff. This is for a project called Visiting that I'm working on where kind of like a little spaceman character will plod around a live action environment and I wanted to sort of capture a uh, quick and portable HDR probe mirrorball type things. So I've um, bought one of these, uh, I guess they're sort of these Chinese exercise ball type things, but uh, these ones I've got are actually pretty good optically, pretty, pretty nice. So I've uh, taken a picture of those uh, using quite a long lens um, at multiple exposures. Open those up in Photoshop. And they're all, I mean, it's taken handheld, so they're all slightly off. So when I merge them to an HDR, uh, I will attempt to align the images, which in almost all cases it does perfectly, which is good. Let's hope it does this time. Yeah, looks good. Uh, and uh, put it in 32-bit mode. Um, I, I did this um, uh, like plus one, minus one stop uh, on the camera because that's all my camera can do. But um, if you've got a nice Nikon digital SLR or Canon digital SLR, I think they can do significantly better than that, like plus five, minus five, with lots of stops in between. Um, but this is fine for what I need. So, and crop it in as near as possible. Looks pretty good. Commit to that. Yeah. And I will scale it up a bit as well because this plugin, I think, reduces it or, or reduces the vertical resolution of it a bit. And the plugin is the Flexify 2 by Flaming Pair, which is brilliant and can convert lots of different lots of different sort of distorted images into various other distorted images and there we go and you've got the uh, latitude and longitude adjustments here in case you weren't completely parallel with the horizon uh, sharpening um, I don't suppose you need to use that really uh, and your input method mirrorball and output method I try and pronounce that uh, equirectangular Equirec equirectangular I think that's right and there you go not amazing but pretty handy 360 uh, environment map with um you know, nice, nice amount of latitude in the dynamic range. So yeah, that's about it, really. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Bye.